Hello everyone, my name is Xander Briggs, and today we are here to celebrate the one year anniversary of Xander Briggs. Today is Monday, January 29th, approximately a year ago, January 29th, I got a, a YouTube channel, on Xander Briggs, for my 12th birthday, and now it is the one year anniversary. We have so far hit 100 subscribers, we've had some awesome videos with some um, awesome comments as well. And today I'm here to give you a tutorial on a nice little birthday cake or an anniversary cake. So you can see I have myself here and just a little dog with a party hat. But that's not why we're here. Why we're here, sorry. We're here for the um, anniversary cake tutorial. So let's get right into it. <clears throat> Alrighty, and here are all the pieces you're going to need for the birthday cake or the anniversary cake. Now you can use these pieces, or you can use pieces like these in any color, as long as it, you know, makes the cake itself for any type or of build you want. Um, but yeah, and then also at the end, we're gonna get a little bit creative. We're gonna um, add a little special thing at the top, so you can, that's optional, and you can get your own pieces for that. So um, let's go ahead and get started with the build, starting with the base slash the table. All right. So for the base or the table that the cake is going to sit on, you're going to need one six by six plate. What you want to do is you want to flip that over and you want to get a one by four, prefer, for, preferably any color. And then we're going to get two one by fours and we're going to put them opposite sides from each other, one stud away from the edge and two studs apart from each other. Then we're going to get two one by twos right here and we're just going to place those in the center like this. So it makes a square in the middle and then that's the table to hold up the birthday cake so, or the anniversary cake. So now that we've got that out the way, we're going to go ahead and make the cake. Remember, just keep this, keep it off to the side. And now you will go ahead and make the cake. So what you first want for the birthday cake is the, we, you want four of these pieces. They're like three by threes, but they have a curve at the end. You want four of those, and you're going to place them like um, that, so they make a circle. You're going to get a 4x4 um, a four four little cylinder brick, and you're going to place that directly in the middle, like so. So that there is two studs on off each side, and then there's a little extra one in the middle of each of the sides. Next up, we're going to get um, a little ring that's like a nice brown piece we're just going to put that right on top of the cylinder in the middle and then we're also going to get another piece that is the um the four by four round uh, plate we're going to put that right on top of there and now we can go ahead and put that on to the table we have we just want to align it up with the table and put it on and now for all the nice decorations on the birthday cake all right, so you have your birthday cake. It's nice, simple. It's on the table we built. <clears throat> it's got some nice frosting, everything, all the good stuff. But you want to add some nice decorations or some toppings. So what we're going to do is I went with the red and pink theme. I thought it was nice for the thing, for the cake. So I got four pink flower pieces. And we're going to place that in the middle, or not the middle, there's two studs in the middle. We're going to place it on the right side each time. So here's the middle. There we go. Then on this side, we're going to, on this side, sorry, we're going to place it on the right side. On this side, we're going to place it on the right side. On this side, we're going to place it on the right side. So you should have a pattern similar to that. And then, we, then after that, you're going to get four translucent red studs like I have right here. And you're going to place that on the right of each side, like in, directly in the middle of the cake. Um, there's two studs. You want to place the redstone on the right so it has a nice um, contrast or a pattern. So, redstone on the right, red stud on the right, red stud on the right. So, at the end, it should have a nice pattern like this. And now we're on to the final part of the cake. All right, now on to the final toppings of the cake. So, like I said, I went with the red and pink theme, so you're going to want to get four pink translucent studs, or any studs. You're just going to want to place them on the left side, 
it's like in the middle of like the red studs, but it's on the left side of the middle. So left side, left side, and left side. Now once we've done that, your cake should look like this. We're almost done. And we can now add toppings, or not toppings, but a little accessory on the top. So you can add what I'm adding. I added a little statue on the top of me, or maybe, give me a sec, maybe you can make a candle to go on the top if it's like a birthday cake. You can put a candle on top, or you know, you can do something cool like a fire sword, or heck, even a dog if you really wanted to, or heck, even a dog if you really wanted to. So, yeah, that was pretty much it for the anniversary cake tutorial. Uh, if you like what you see, please like, comment, and subscribe for all things Lego. That was my one-year anniversary tutorial of a anniversary cake. And, yeah, I will see you later. So what you want? So what you put up? Mm. So what you first want for the? Gee, dude, oh man.